What's up, everybody? Ben Jacobs, brand director for Stadium Goods. I'm here at Christie's, where we are featuring our original Air auction, which has game-worn and player-exclusive Michael Jordan sneakers. Let's take a look at all 11 lots. The Nike Airship, worn by Michael Jordan early on in his rookie year. Uh, this is while they were developing the Jordan brand line, and he wore the Airship, but he actually wore a sort of modified version for him. Um, it has a lower collar than the other Airships, and it actually has what went to be the Jordan 1 sole. Also notable is the Nike Air on the heel. Uh, the black and red version of the Airship says Air Jordan, it says Nike Air, but of course it was a pre-Jordan brand, so there was no uh, Jordan Wings logo yet. The sort of genesis and DNA of, of Jordan brand and the Air Jordan 1 in particular can really be seen within the shoe as that's what immediately followed. So Michael didn't wear the Airship for very long as they did end up getting to their Jordan 1, but he did wear this pair uh, as sourced from a New Jersey Nets equipment manager and believed to be worn in a game the Bulls played against the Nets December 14th, 1984. Um, but there's significant wear on the shoe and we believe he also wore it in back-to-back -back games against the Pistons December 11 and 12, 1984. All right, so here we have Air Jordan 1 TYPS PE. This is mint condition, never worn. Does have a beautiful signature on the inside collar here. So here we have another Air Jordan 1, but this is actually a Jordan 1 High, which he did not wear very much on court, but he did wear this pair in an exhibition game in Italy following his rookie year where he traveled and played on the Italian team Stefano Trieste in an exhibition game that Nike sponsored. And famously in that game, he shattered the backboard uh, on a powerful dunk and, and left glass and millions of pieces on the floor. One of those pieces of glass is actually still in the sole of this shoe here. This pair also has rookie signatures on the inside, collar and black pen. Um, and also notable is that both the left and right shoe of this pair are size 13 and a half, whereas he tended to wear size uh, 13 and a half and then a 13 uh, on the other shoe, but this is both 13 and a half. So here we have a game-worn pair of Fire Red Air Jordan 4s worn in a game at the old Chicago Stadium on November 28th, 1989 against the Atlanta Hawks. The soles obviously show some age and fragility, but that's common actually for pairs that had a visible air bubble. Here we have a mint condition version of Air Jordan 5 Fire Red, uh, another masterpiece designed by Tinker Hatfield who designed Air Max 1, Air Jordan 3, Air Jordan 4, and then the 5. Um, definitely a fan favorite model, uh, and this you know, PE version features a 23, which was not seen on the retail version. Air Jordan 7 Olympic, specifically designed for the Olympics for Michael to wear uh, with his jersey number 9 on the back, opposed to other versions of Air Jordan 7 that had his typical number 23. This pair was worn in the gold medal finals against Croatia, um, and actually as discovered by Gerard Starkey, our advisor on Original Air, and MJ Game Worn Collector, that there's this padding in the heel that he's never seen before in any other Olympic pairs that must have been added to uh, give Michael some extra support after you know a, a long battle throughout the Olympics. So kind of an amazing piece of history here. Um, and actually, this pair was sourced from you know two kids that worked in the hotel where the Dream Team stayed and used to run errands for them. So when uh, Michael was leaving the hotel, he gave them this pair, you know, to say thanks. And Magic Johnson also actually gave them a T-shirt, a uh, Dream Team T-shirt that we have that comes along with this pair. So here we have an Air Jordan 10 cleat. This is never worn, but this is from when he was actually playing with the Scottsdale Scorpions. Um, and what's cool about this is, you know, that he wore the Air Jordan 10 uh, in some games as a baseball player, and then he wore it again when he came back in 95. So this is sort of like the transitional silhouette, if you will. Um, but you know, no, no real markings other than the Jumpman, uh, no numbers or anything like that. Um, like I said, mint condition, but pretty cool collector's piece here. So here we have the Air Jordan 10 Shadow. Uh, after ending his early retirement, and he had retired his number 23, Michael came back and wore the Chicago colorway of this shoe, and in the playoffs, he wore the Shadow before switching to the Air Jordan 11 Concord. Uh, this pair has the embroidered 45. As I mentioned, he was no longer wearing 23 at that time. Um, this pair is in mint condition. It is a PE. Uh, mint condition comes with the original box. Here we have the legendary Air Jordan 11 Concord. 
this pair was worn by Michael in the regular season of the 1995-96 season. Um, he originally debuted this in the playoffs of the 95 season after he made his comeback um, and then wore this for the entirety of his first full season back with the Bulls. Um, this pair also has three signatures on it, uh, on this shoe, the toe box here, and then the inside collar. Not only is this one of the most legendary and distinctive Air Jordan models, but he actually also wore this during arguably the Bulls' best season when they went 72 and 10. So incredible story, incredible shoe, incredible signatures, and just an amazing collector's item. So this is the Air Jordan 11 bread, which Michael wore during the 1996 playoffs after the Bulls went 72 and 10, and they went on to clinch their fourth championship. Um, this is a player sample, FTPS, and the, the, his model actually had a lower cut patent leather on the heel here than found in the retail version. So this pair is unworn in mint condition and does come with the original box. So the 11th and final lot of the auction is the Air Jordan 14 Cherry. Uh, he famously wore the black and red version of this model as seen with his last shot against the Jazz. But this pair was worn during practice during that finals run in 1998. Um, you know, the design was inspired by Ferrari and very sleek design. The, the Jumpman, you know, sort of triangular crest here inspired by the Ferrari logo, but really an amazing, you know, futuristic style design that has, has stood the test of time. So that's everything. 11 pairs of Michael Jordan player exclusives and gamers. Um, thanks for taking a look. Bidding is open now through August 13th, online only. Um, visit christies.com slash original air for all the details. Thank you to Christie's, thank you to Stadium Goods, thank you to Gerard Starkey. Stadium Goods on socials is at Stadium Goods. Give us a follow, check everything else out. Thank you.